Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen in today's video we will see how to protect our inner confidence I have spoken a lot about how to build inner confidence in my previous videos that you can go and check it out but today I will be talking about if you are building inner confidence if you have built inner confidence to a higher level it's your responsibility to protect it as well because the world is a big zalim hai. right so inner confidence is nothing but to give you a very simple idea it is something that is not dependent on things people situation and so on right it is independent of these things that is where the most important flare comes into picture three ways how you can protect your inner confidence number one is monitor your progress we all are humans and humans have a natural tendency of feeling low on their emotions it's a natural tendency to feeling more negative than positive right in this scenario if you are chasing a particular goal or a mission make sure that you actually break down the task have a measuring mechanism about your progress so for example let's say you have decided a task which is year long then break down it into weekly goals and try and measure them more than breaking it down measuring is the most critical factors have some measurement metrics towards it so every week you will able to understand whether you have progressed or not it's okay sometimes you will progress sometimes you will not sometimes you will hit the goal sometimes you will not but defining those targets those milestones will help you understand that whether you are on the right track or not ladies and gentlemen depending upon whatever goal vision and passion you have the journey that you choose might be long or short but cutting it into parts and ensuring the measurement will give you a lot of confidence dheere se hi sahi lekin pahunchoge zarur to ye janna zaruri hai ki kya tum sahi disha mein ja rahe ho and that is where the measurement comes into place so monitor your progress because as some person some anonymous guy has already said some legend that what gets measured gets improved second is do the right thing always we are living in an environment where the situation a lot of time overpowers or people overpowers whom we are dependent upon and we have to take certain decisions or do certain things that our mind doesn't allow us right that is going beyond your belief system this is where your inner confidence starts hampering in the long term let me give you an example let's say you have sent a presentation to the client and your boss and some of the colleagues and whoever has made certain mistakes or maybe the client have made certain mistakes from his end now your boss tells you that drop an apology email saying that this is the mistake has been happened from your end right and ensure that you know the the, the client is pacified if he is angry now you have two option one is you actually go ahead drop that particular email to the client and ensure that the client is happy boss is happy and teammates are happy but what have you actually done you have actually gone beyond your belief system and have hurt yourself have hurt your self esteem and this is going to hurt your self confidence inner confidence as well however on the flip side of the story if you you probably have to fight and tell the boss that this is not what you are going to do you might face a lot of resistance in the start but that will ensure that your inner confidence is still intact because you have done the right thing which was required the second important thing the second important technique is this to protect the self confidence is do the right thing which your value system allows you to do technique number 3 to protect your inner confidence is do more of what makes you happy i haven't say that uh, we are living in a fairy tale world where you will able to get everything that you like life is all about mix and matches the, the food plate we have we can't only eat rice we can't only eat chapati we can't only eat sabji we can only we can't only eat dal it is a mixture it is a mixture that actually makes a meal complete right so you might like certain element into it and you might use certain elements to just support for it it's exactly the same story in the life as well when you are protecting your inner confidence do more of what you actually like whatever you love create space for it create the space for it and try and indulge into those activity for a while that will ensure that it is fueling up 
your inner confidence and it is not letting your confidence go down protection of the inner confidence is equally or rather more important in the process of building the inner confidence because building inner confidence is a ever never ending process at the same time protecting confidence is also never ending process so try both these techniques to ensure that you are protecting it and having a wonderful life in the coming time ladies and gentlemen i'm sure this video has added value to you try this technique and let me know in the comment box if this has helped you to protect your self confidence see you in the next video this is prathamesh welling signing off until we meet next